All right, so we see what just happened with uh, we see what just happened with good old Spec Ops. That thing done shot the value like crazy, crazy. So I said, man, let me go ahead and just go ahead and drop another um recommendation video. But this time I'm gonna just do it for PS3 games. I think you guys should really be on the lookout. But this is gonna be the only PS3 video I do for the month of February. The rest of the month is going to be Xbox 360. But, you know, that's enough fat mouthing. Let's go ahead and get into this thing, man. Let's see, uh, you know, uh, what the recommendations is. Alright, for starters, we gotta start this thing off with an obvious, obvious banger. Of course, that's this game called Journey. This and, uh, you know, like I said, man, shout out to Spec Ops, man. If you're a collector and you didn't get Spec Ops before that thing shot off through the roof, something wrong with you, man. People have been talking about that, that thing as a hidden gem for ages. Same thing with this Journey. <laughs> People have been talking about this thing for ages, man. This is one of those games that, you know, if if it was to go off, you know, all the collectors are going to have it because they've been promoting it. They've been promoting the fees out of this thing for the longest, for the longest, longest. So, you know, this is definitely one of my recommendations. Uh, everybody used to go crazy over the multiplayer. You couldn't actually talk to each other. I think you had to, like, do beeps. I don't know, man. I ain't really playing like that, though. But uh, it's definitely a, a unique one, so. Journey, man, scoop it up. All right, cool. Now, for my second prediction, you already know it's going to be issues when you see that NIS America. <laughs> you already know it's going to be some issues, man. Now, this game, it, it got two two versions. You'll get confused because the first one is just Mugen Souls. I think I'm pronouncing it right. The second one is Mugen Souls Z. I think the Z going to be the most valuable one. I don't know. This just me calling my predictions. <laughs> you feel me? But I definitely think this is going to be one of the ones that, one of them kooky ones that just, you know, pop out of nowhere. So, uh, if you guys uh, collect for PS3, Mugen Soul, I, I'll be looking for both of them, to be honest with you. I think if you can find them under $20, you know, uh, that's a good pickup. Definitely if you see it under 15 I would say snatch it. Um, but like I said, man, these is uh, one of the ones that I, I, w I would put on my, my radar, man. These One of those kooky games like this, man, they be always be the first to blow. So that's Mugen Soul. So let's move on to the next prediction. And at the time of this recording, both of these things, they're going to run you about $20. But I think the Z, the Mugen Soul Z, I think that's going to be the most valuable. Uh, so if you're going to try to get it, if you can only get one, that'll probably be the one to scoop. But let's move on. Now, this next game, I know y'all going to laugh at me. Same way Lord Zababa, <laughs> he called me out when I was talking about DJ Hero. I say, uh, and and to clarify, I never said DJ Hero was a rare game. I said DJ Hero would be one of those experiences that you would want to share with your family, uh, people who, uh, you know, uh, check out your collection maybe 10, 20 years down the line. But one thing that is getting rare about DJ Hero before I go into this game is those turntables, just like with the Buzz game. Those Buzz games are everywhere, but those Zappers are getting expensive. Those guitars for Guitar Hero are getting expensive. So, you know, uh, sometimes a game might be coming, but it can still become rare if you're trying to get the complete package or the complete, uh, the, the optimal experience of playing that game will become rare, if you will. You feel me? So I'm going to move on from that, and I'm going to go into this. 
this guy they ain't gonna ride the hell retribution. We gotta look at the way gaming is heading, man. You gotta look at like they just re-released Bulletstorm. They took all that shit out. Everything is getting real PC. People getting real sensitive. A lot of stuff is going down. I think it's gonna be a nostalgia for these type of games, man. Like dudes was literally banging chicks on this game, man. This game was awesome. <laughs> Like he was literally like they they literally do sex scenes, man. This game was was crazy. Uh, you know, <laughs> I think it's gonna be like people gonna really miss games like this, man. You know, uh, ten depending on the tra- trajectory that they keep going, and uh, like I, and plus it's just gonna be an all time classic for a physical owner, man. So uh, grab this game right now while it's dirt cheap. Also, we gotta understand this used to be a two dollar game. GameStop used to have this two ninety nine everywhere, and then Mom and Pops had this thing for four ninety nine. Right now, Price Chart got it for twenty dollars, complete in box. So it's already starting to go up. It done already, it done already four x from you know what we're normally used to seeing it at. So that's that. I come a long way just to even the score. Retributions what I came here for And if some sand will send me to my grave I'll rise on up and strike him where I lay Alright, so the next game, this is a no-brainer. No-brainer, bro. 50 Cent. Blood on the sand. This is another one of those... Uh, Spec Ops the Line type of games, if you was a collector. Should have known that this was going to be one of those games that was going to go up, man. This up there with Journey. This up there with uh, 3D Dot Heroes. Like, all the games that everybody was always talking about. Uh, so, I mean, um, and look how long 50 been around, man. Still relevant to this day. Still relevant to this day. Still doing crazy interviews. Still making... Uh, awesome TV shows and, and everything like like Fifty here to stay. He got staying power like Jay Z, so uh, and and that's why his video games are retaining their staying power. So uh, if this if Blood on the Sand and got too too or uh, far away from you, I will look into his PlayStation Two and his Xbox OG Xbox games because I think those games are gonna go up too. But uh, and it's it's not a bad game. <laughs> Not a bad game, especially if you're a 50 Cent fan. So, <laughs> hey, it, it, this definitely one for the books, man. Uh, at the time of this recording, I think, well, let's see what Price Chong, I don't know what eBay got it for. Price Chong got it for $45 if you're trying to get it for the PlayStation 3. Xbox 360 is crazy. It's Xbox 360, forget about it. Uh, but, yeah, man, uh, that's that. So, let's move on to the next one. All right, so for the next one, we got an RPG made by Sega. So you already know, man, this is going to be a sought-after title in the future, man. It's an RPG, and it's made by Sega. Yeah, it's a multi-plat, you know, but it's still good. It's still good. I think it's going to be more valuable on uh, Xbox 360, though. Xbox 360 don't don't have too many games like this. but uh, And it's a unique. It's a unique game, man. So, uh at the time of this recording, like I say, man, about fifteen on price chart. And this is one of those games, man, I think it's, it's another game that if you follow video game content like that though, you should know about this game. You should know about this game. And 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 that's 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 who I really think gonna push the market. The people who follow video game content, people who be up to date on stuff like this, man, they gonna know that all right, man, bam, this this stuff is starting to come collectible. You know, so Resident of Fate, 
definitely one that I could recommend. I would recommend getting it for the Xbox 360 before the PlayStation 3. But, you know, if you're a PlayStation 3 guy, then that definitely should be on your list of what you want to check out. Then, you know, we got we got to keep it going with Sega, man. One of the greatest publishers of all time. And we come to Anarchy Reigns, man. This is another one of those games. See, nobody really expected Spec Ops the, the boom, the way it boomed, because it was so commonly talked about. Everybody played it. Everybody thought it was just a common game. Another game, Anarchy Reigns. This is one of those games, I think, that first off, it's made by Platinum Games. It was published by Sega, but Sega and Platinum. So you know it's a good game. Then, you know, it, it's one of those experiences that, like, if it was just to suddenly get delisted and you couldn't play it no more, I think it'll be one of those games that a lot of people are, are just start seeking out. They'll be like, all right, bam, I can't play it no more. Now I want to play it. <laughs> you know, uh, some some crazy done happened with it. Now I want to play it. So I definitely think this is one of those games that a that, uh, 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 juice up out of nowhere. So, uh, and I'm going to finish it off with that. And right now, like I said, man, this game is still, it's a $10 game. $10 game. And it's very common. So you was to see it. Scoop it up, because all it takes is something to happen or some goofy YouTuber to say something, and then next thing you know, everybody want to buy this shit. So, uh, some little bike story come out on it, and then now everybody want to buy it. And that's that, that's how it works. But y'all be cool, man. I'm out this thing. I'm go case. Sega. Chaser on the team. <laughs> I know the drill. Shoot to kill. That's right. I'm a killer, just like you. The difference is my victims deserve it. 